Hi, Dave Soriano. I'm a chemistry professor with the University of Pittsburgh's Bradford campus in Western Pennsylvania, USA. And among other things, I've been working on developing biochemical ionic liquids that will dissolve oxides like copper one oxide, cuprous oxide, a venerable P semiconductor. And I've developed a prototype and it's a variation of the great Zell um, solar cell where he uses of course titanium dioxide an iodine uh, salt bridge and a sensitizer usually a dye uh, what I've done what I have found is that if I take a 1 to 2 molar ratio of vitamin B4 which is choline chloride readily available and rather inexpensive if I mix up a 1 to 2 molar ratio respectively of the choline chloride with malonic acid uh, heated up to 70 degrees Celsius in the air for about 15 minutes, 10 minutes it'll uh, become an ionic liquid which uh, is fluid at ambient temperature right down to 0 degrees Celsius you'll find that there's a it's a pourable uh, gel at lower temperature but uh, the important thing is it's dissolving copper one oxide uh, a significant amount the solution becomes greenish in appearance for example I'll show you some right here which is uh, soaked into cotton a greenish color it's usually a little darker and uh, what I've done is I I've taken wicks. Let me see if I can put a light on here and make this a little more visible. I have taken an empty CD case, removed the paper, and placed in it a wick which works particularly well. These wicks can be obtained from a company in Wisconsin. And I will upload details, some experimental uh, details, and uh, references and where you can find these wicks. Tiki brand I think it's called in Wisconsin and uh, they're they're very nice they have uh, looks like some type of uh, coating with conventional uh, wick inside and it punctured a couple of holes and what I did the bottom half there has been lathered in the ionic liquid with copper one oxide the top half has been uh, soaked with copper sulfate copper 2 sulfate is a salt bridge in glycerin warm it up a little bit to get enough copper sulfate in and a few drops of water cut down on the uh, vapor pressure and uh, so it's half and half and then uh, plugged into the salt bridge which you can see is a uh, about a five millimeter diameter copper wire wrapped up a few times shoved in there and a contact uh, with the multimeter and I put a little bit of a hole this is just a makeshift uh, prototype I punctured a hole in the CD case right about uh, one is over here I have to drill a hole in the case and that will be where you can put in additional uh, salt bridge solution as needed so you don't have to open and close the case and then there'll uh, be another hole drilled right in here where you can contact with the electrode to see what kind of uh, potential you're getting let's take a look I'll put a 150 watt phosphory light bulb tungsten light bulb uh, about 10 12 centimeters away and uh, I'll put the multimeter on you can see right now where we don't have any type of uh, potential and uh, let me see if I can get at that alrighty so I have the electrode in there touching the copper one iodide it's not so important to how much copper iodide copper one iodide I'm sorry copper uh, one uh, oxide is inside um, the important thing is the surface area exposure to light but anyway here's the uh, times two so 
So we're drawing about uh, 1.1 uh, volts potential. And uh, it works pretty good. Uh, the current research that I'm doing involves uh, improving this prototype. Very easily prepared. Uh, I put this one together in about uh, 20 minutes all told. Very good for STEM students, undergrads majoring in science, energy, chemistry, uh, solar related, and I think this would even be useful for uh, graduate research. And uh, I'm working on uh, examining other oxides that are semiconductors, and I'll probably even the salt bridge. I'll uh, see if I can come up with one which would use an ionic liquid itself and thus we don't have to worry too much about evaporation. So there you have it. It's my uh, prototype and uh, in about a week I'll upload some uh, references, very useful references and uh, where you can get these wicks and I know I can tell you I've had one of these running for a couple of days and it holds up pretty well and uh, I think I'll just flatten out that wick a little bit and then I'm going to think about hooking up a few of these in series so uh, hopefully you'll uh, want to investigate this yourself and uh, I'll upload information to you know where you can contact me hey thanks for watching take care